and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hi my name is hope today we're gonna be doing something super super exciting which is making over a coffee cart i got an espresso machine for christmas and i needed some place to put it that wasn't on my countertops just because I don't have very much room there, so I wanted something like a bar cart, coffee cart. My sister ended up giving me this one, which I'm pretty sure is thrifted, and so it just kind of worked out perfectly. But the wood doesn't really go with my decor, and so I thought, why not turn it into my first DIY project? And because I love sharing absolutely everything with you guys, I thought, why not film it? So today we are going to be making over a coffee cart. All right, you guys, so this is what the coffee cart currently looks like in its state. I just have everything thrown on there, but I haven't had a chance, obviously, to organize it. So we have the machine and all that stuff on the top there, coffee and extra little decor stuff on the second shelf, and then we have all the stuff to complete this DIY right there on the bottom. So I'll insert a picture right here of kind of my inspiration for this coffee cart. I found this on Pinterest. Basically, I want to do white on the bottom and then a dark stain on the top just so that it can kind of match my cupboards, which as you guys can see are dark brown, as well as my floor, which is also a dark brown, and the walls are white. So I thought that doing white with a dark stain would look super nice. The very first step in this project is obviously to take everything off of the cart and then start sanding. So I went to Home Depot and I picked up some sanding stuff. I got a sanding sponge. This is 120. It doesn't need too much sanding. I just need to get the top layer off. And then I also just got some medium regular sanding paper to smooth out those edges. So I'm going to go ahead and start taking everything off of here and then we can get ready to start sanding. So I put down a little blanket just so that I don't get sanding dust everywhere even though I probably still will. And honestly I don't really know what I'm doing this is not a tutorial this is just for fun for me um so yeah i'm just gonna start sanding i guess i think i'm gonna start with the sanding sponges because they're a little bit more heavy duty and then i'll go in with the finer stuff just to kind of smooth it out Alright, so I'm completely done sanding now and I'm gonna start doing the stain. I don't have gloves, I just realized they're just totally my bad, so we're just gonna have to be as careful as possible. I do have some of these blue towels just to kind of wipe off the excess and all of that. This is the stain I am using. It is the Varathane Gel Stain. Gel Stain was recommended to me because it's super easy to use and you just rub it in. So I got the Gel Stain in the shade Espresso. Okay, so I'm gonna start by opening this stain. I'm really hoping that I don't get this everywhere. So here, oh, it's like chunky. I was not expecting that, it's so weird. So I just dampened one of these towels and I'm just gonna wipe this off just so there's no more sanding dust on it. And it looks like we did nothing. Okay, so I'm gonna mix it. All I have is a knife, so I'll like thin it out. Oh my God, that is so toxic smelling. I'm going to use my one and only paintbrush that I'm also gonna use for the paint to just get this stain on here. And I watched a video of a girl doing this and she just kind of like spread it on and then rubbed it in. I honestly think I'm just gonna use the brush to kind of rub it in at first. I'm getting it literally everywhere already. Okay, so now I'm gonna take one of these towels and rub it in. I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to do but we're gonna go for it anyway. Oh no, you guys, I think we did something wrong here. Cause it's like not, you see that? It's like, didn't even work. I wonder if we didn't sand it enough. Okay, well I have a feeling maybe I did not sand it enough. So that's what really sucks. I think I've got it all off now. Like, did that do anything? I honestly don't think that did a single thing. I honestly don't know what to do. I don't know if I should sand it more or what, but I'm gonna try to figure this out and I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I feel like an idiot because I literally did read the instructions, but apparently I didn't read them enough, even though they're so easy. We have to let the stain stay on for... I need to read it again. It says we have to let the stain sit on there and penetrate for two to five minutes and then wipe it off. So, because it does look a tiny bit darker. So we're going to try one more time. Finally done. I'm going to let this sit for probably a bit longer than five minutes. I think I'm going to do like eight to ten minutes. All right, I am back. I don't know how long it's been. I didn't count, but it looks like it's starting to dry a bit. So I want to rub it in before it does. This is what it looks like after the second time. And I just don't know what's happening. It's just not getting dark. I don't know. I'm just very confused. I'm gonna do some thinking, I'll be right back. So it's a little bit later, I'm back. Basically, I found out that I just didn't sand it enough. Um, Kyle sanded it a little bit farther for me. So I got half of it down, I'll show you guys the difference. So we're gonna sand it with the medium grit. We're just gonna get it down to the bare wood and then try staining it again, hopefully today. But if you guys can see the difference, this is what the stain, two layers of stain did with that bad sanding. And then this is the sanding that we're getting to. So we're just gonna keep sanding even though my arm feels like it's gonna fall off. Alright everybody, welcome back. Today is day two of this makeover. Yesterday we actually ended up going to Home Depot to pick up some more sandpaper. So I got 120 and then I also got a 320. And then I just went back in and <laughs> sanded it and my hand literally hurt so bad. But And then I took the 320 and just went over it to make it super, super smooth. So it is day two now and it is finally ready to be stained again for the third time now. So... Fingers crossed that this time is the time that it works. If it doesn't, I honestly don't know what to do, but I have high hopes. It is raining outside today, so I'm kind of under the little part of my house that is covered. Um, but hopefully the weather doesn't have anything to do with this drying. So I'm going to go ahead and start applying this for the third time. The stain is now completely on. I'm gonna let this sit for around five minutes and then I will come back to wipe it off. And I'm really hoping that it works this time. I think it will, so see you in five minutes. All right, so this is what the espresso finish looks like. As you can tell, it's a little bit darker in some of the other areas. It looks so, so nice, you guys. That is exactly what I wanted. I'm really happy that it finally worked. So this has to dry for six to eight hours, but since it is literally raining outside, it might take a little bit longer. So I'm gonna leave this for eight hours and then we're gonna come back and start painting. All right, guys, so it has been around seven hours now and this is pretty dry, but not completely. But I'm going to go ahead and do a first coat of white over top of this just so that we can get the paint started because I'm not sure how many coats it's going to take. So this is the Bare Brand Premium Plus Paint and Primer in One. This is in the color Ultra Pure White. So I got another paintbrush because my other one was just messed up from that stain. So I'm going to go ahead and just go for it. Hopefully I don't mess anything up but yeah let's do this and then one of the tricks i have is to put an elastic band on the top so you can use it to kind of get the excess paint off of the brush
So it is a bit later now and as you guys can tell the first coat is done. It looks super super good and I actually already love how it matches with the walls. It is obviously super patchy as you guys can tell but that's okay because it's just the first coat. I didn't do the bottom of this yet. I haven't decided if I'm going to. Maybe it'll just bug me so I will do one coat. Um, but other than that it is completely done with one coat on it. It is looking super, super nice. This is all I'm going to do for tonight because I'm honestly pretty tired. So I will see you guys tomorrow and we'll finish painting it and then hopefully get some more progress. Hello guys, today is day three. It is currently the morning right now and I have just been doing the second coat on here. What I had to end up doing is going in with a smaller brush and doing the little edges because around it, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I've been taking this small brush and kind of going along these edges here because as you can see, they're a little bit hard to get. And I also haven't done the top. I don't think I'm going to. I might after this video, but you won't be able to see it where I'm going to put it. So just pretend, you know what? I might have to do it. It might piss me off. I might have to do it. So today we have to go to Home Depot and return this handle that I bought the other day because um, Kyle took one look at it. He's like, how are we going to put that in? I was like, what do you mean? This is for a cupboard because you can screw something from the other side, which means that it's just not going to go in this bar cart. There's literally no way that I can screw this in here because it's just one piece of solid wood. Uh, so that's really crappy, but I'm going to go to Home Depot and return this one and see if I can find a handle that has like where you screw it from the outside. So that is what I'm going to look for today. My other idea was to put it on the top here and have one on that side kind of like a cart but i like the idea of having a towel there more so that is what i'm going to do i also really want to go today and try to find some decor for the top of this um, and see what we can find so i'm going to hit winners probably maybe michael's the dollar store places like that so i'll update you guys in a bit but i'm just going to finish painting this right now all right guys so it's a little bit later now I am going to start glossing this so I have the same brand of the stain. This is just the diamond wood finish. It is water based. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this with the same paintbrush and see how it goes. We have to let it dry two to three hours in between each coat and then we have to do a minimum of three coats. So I better get started. So the first layer of the top coat is already on there and it's looking super, super shiny. I set a timer for two hours and then we're going to reapply it. We'll do the last coat tomorrow morning and then we have to let it sit for 24 hours before it's like ready to go. Today I also returned that handle and I couldn't find any other one that would possibly work. So I might go out tomorrow and see what I can find. Anyway, today I did pick up this container. And I wanted to use this to put the coffee beans in because I really wanted to be able to see the coffee beans themselves. But this wood is just not the right color for this table. So I'm going to sand it and then stain it the same color as the cabinet. I know it's going to be a lot of extra work, but I think it will really look good. And plus, this is not that big. So I have high hopes. So I'm going to go ahead and sand this right now and then apply the stain. So it is completely stained now. There's like one part that I just didn't get, but I mean, honestly, this is just going to be full and for decoration anyway. And so I'm just going to see. Yeah, that looks really, really good. I'm feeling very accomplished. Hello, guys. Today is day four, I believe, and it is actually nighttime. I have been working all day, but this morning I put the last coat of the gloss on the table so I'm going to show you guys what it looks like now that it is completely dried and shiny and it looks so so good this is what it's looking like as you guys can tell you can see that shine on there it's completely dry you can't really see any brush strokes and then I just did one coat on this part but so far it is looking really good today I went out and bought these two baskets from the dollar store and I'm going to be putting something in here I'm not sure what yet 
but it just kind of tied in with the gold wheels and the gold tray that I got. I was going to get a handle today, but I worked super late and I just did not have time to find one. So I don't think I'm going to be doing the handle, which is kind of sad, but it is what it is. So I'm going to kind of figure out how I'm going to place everything and then we're going to start assembling and then it will finally be done. I am so excited and so happy with how it turned out already. So let's get to finalizing all the details. All right, so here I am starting to assemble the coffee cart. The first thing I did was put on the espresso machine. This is the Breville Cafe Roma. Got it for Christmas. I really like it. Soon realized that I literally spilled the drip tray all over it, so I had to wipe that up really quick. Um, and then I put on two tea towels that I literally got from the dollar store. They're so cute, brown and white checkers. And I know that this was going to get wet because it's a coffee cart and I'm just messy. So it ended up looking really cute on there and that will definitely help keep it clean. I also put on this cart and then it took a bit of rearranging because at first I wanted to put the syrups on the second shelf but I soon realized that they literally would not fit on the second shelf. So I ended up switching it around and putting the tools on the second shelf and the syrups, which I think will be fine because I use the syrups way more often anyway. Then I filled up the beans. This was super satisfying and I really like how it turned out. I like that you can see it. I think it just adds something extra. Um, I put these mugs at the bottom. I never drank hot coffee, but they looked super cute. And then I also put a little coffee candle I really wanted to put this plant on, it literally took me like 10 minutes to figure out where to put it, but I just needed to have it on there. Alright you guys, so the coffee cart is completely done now, but before I show you guys a little montage of what it looks like, let me know in the comments down below if you like this kind of video because I honestly had a lot of fun doing it, and I think flipping furniture and doing makeovers is something that I would love to do on my channel more. So without further ado, I am so so excited to show you guys the finished product. One more time, here is the before, and here is the after. So that was everything for today's video. I absolutely love how the bar cart turned out. I think it looks so so good and comparing what it looked like before just a plain pale wood to what it looks like now it looks so modern so elevated totally matches my house and i'm just it looks so so good in here this was so much fun to film and to do and i'm glad you guys could come along with me and watch my journey make sure to like this video if you liked this transformation comment down below if you like these kind of videos and if you have more ideas for me and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another upload thank you guys so much for watching i love you all very very much and i'll see you in my next video bye